My name is Ollie, and I'm here to argue about sour beers with someone. Welcome to Half Pipe. Today, from the Buxton Brewery in Derbyshire, I'm drinking a raspberry red rye. This is actually the first of the Buxton Brewery beers that I've had. I've had a look at some of the others online, they look really nice. And uh, it's the same brewery that did this pretty controversial uh, yellow belly beer, which you can see here. I'm gonna try and get my hands on that one too. Apparently it is amazing. Anyway, this Berliner Weisse style, which we spoke about on the Beer Geek on German beers, which you can see right here. Uh, yeah, it's a Berliner Weisse style. I'm expecting a bit of tart raspberryness, quite refreshing, uh, a, bit, a little bit sour. I'm really excited about it. I'm really hope it doesn't smell as bad as uh, the Berliner Kimmel did. Oh, that's henky. Oh, that's a honky stinker. Uh, nice, lovely label here. Uh, yeah, Raspberry Red Rye, Berliner Weisse, the Buxton Brewery is bold conditioned. Uh, it's 4.9% and uh, nicely chilled it, so I'm looking to be quenched. Oh, that's a nice red. Here it is, the Raspberry Red Rye. It's a lot darker than I thought it would be. It's very cloudy. Nice, thin, sort of uh, slightly brown, rusty head. Um, yeah, it's a lovely colour, really, really deep red. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that's really fresh raspberry, a little bit metally. Yeah, oh, that's a, yeah, that's a lovely smell. Uh, definitely better than the Berliner Kindle on its own. Yeah, metally, a little bit woody, that really strong raspberry smell. Uh, apparently they've just put loads in the kettle towards the end of the brew, so I imagine it's pretty much gonna taste like a, a big old raspberry. I'm going to tell you about the taste at the end. Now, everybody loves a pint-sized rant. And today on Half Pint, we're talking about an article from Draft Mag. This is a magazine I know nothing about, so for all I know, it's either about beer, choosing the best new NFL players, or a small amount of wind from under a door or a crack in a window. The article is called Stop Calling Beers Sours and it argues that we shouldn't be reducing some of the world's most fascinating beers to one of the five easiest tastes our tongue can detect. The article is supposedly a geeky semantic quibble and I love me one of those but it's the subject of said quibble that I find an inherent fault with. Here are the key points of the article, so you don't need to waste your time and read it yourself. Sour, as a term, is relative and subjective. There is a risk of a sour arms race, and it's not about sourness, and it never was. The article closes with statements like, each beer has its story, and I'd like to know that story. And if that story is just sour, then I'm not interested. Now don't get me wrong, the author of this article loves their beer and is a clear pedant like I. And I love using an extensive vocabulary to describe beers, but I'm afraid I disagree with the points that he's making. Now before I break it down, I'm making this episode with permission of Ale of a Time. It's a brilliant beer blog and there's a link to it in the description below. Basically, the writers of that blog mm, tore this article apart as well and I'm using what they said sort of as inspiration for this episode. They said it's fine and they're looking forward to the episode, so check it out after this if you want a bit more in-depth uh, destruction of this anti-sour article. Let's get started. The article sort of sets up this future where brewers are making beers as sour as they possibly can and calling it a sour arms race, forgetting any balance of flavour whatsoever. Now, we shouldn't scrap the word sour just if someone takes it too far. Some brewers and customers want super sour beer. By the same reason we shouldn't call anything anything unless naughty people start abusing it and making bad beer. Just let them make bad beers. The bad thing about bad beers isn't the name, it's the beer. Ale of a Time sums it up perfectly. No one thinks a great spicy Thai curry is just about spice or a delicious sweet dessert is just about sweet, but spice and sweetness are what distinguishes those from other dishes. In the case of sour beers, it's the same. The brewer's intent is to use bacteria, uh, alongside traditional wheat, to create an element of sourness. Then saying it is a sour beer is just the best way to get this across to the drinker. Like ale or lager, or even subcategories like stout and pale. It doesn't show you the full picture, but it lets the drinker know what roughly to expect. Is the author trying to say here that 
every beer needs a detailed explanation of what the drinker can expect. I wouldn't want that on a beer label, to be honest. I don't want to read about what I should be tasting. It's like why I, I don't really like reading beer reviews or reading film reviews of beers and films before I drink them or see them. The sour label encompasses all beer with souring bacteria. It's the influence that the process has on the final product, and it's what sets it apart from regular ale or lager. Of course it doesn't paint a full picture, but why should it? It's about the discovery for yourself, to differentiate it from the other categories out there, and it sets you on the right path on your adventure through a beer, through tasting a beer. Rant over, I disagree with the guy, Sour is a perfectly good label for a beer, and as I said, it sets you up on your own adventure to find out the different complexities of that sour general label. This beer, the Raspberry Red Rye Berliner Weisse from the Buxton Brewery is, well, it's sour. I genuinely like it. It is sour, it's, but it's rich as well. It's got a little bit of sweetness, and I find it much, much more refreshing than mixing a really sweet raspberry cordial with the Berliner Weisse, uh, the Berliner Kindle Weisse, like I did. It's got a really nice mellow finish to it. It's not leaving my mouth all sort of crisp and, 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 and going, ah. Uh, I think raspberry is probably the best flavour to add to a Berliner Weisse or any sort of sour beer. Uh, it's, it's just a great fruit. It's got that tartness, but it's got that sort of building sweetness as well. I really enjoy this. Good work, uh, Buxton Brewery. I look forward to trying your others. Uh, I enjoy this very much. I love the colour. I just love the look of it. it. Looks like a soup, and it's super duper. Thanks for watching Half Pint today. I hope you enjoyed that little rant. Remember to check out Air of a Time, the blog, and a link to the sour or anti-sour article is also in the description below. Thank you to ebrio.com for sending us uh, this brilliant Buxton Brewery Raspberry Red Rye Berliner Weisse, and I'll see you next time. Remember to subscribe, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Mm -hmm.